Well, three garbage men were honored this morning. You might recall the story, too. We told you about it recently. They were honored for rescuing a kitten who was left in the trash. Now, thanks to their quick action and after a full recovery, that kitten has a new home. Fox 12's Zach Anders is live in studio with more. Zach? Yeah, thanks, Pete. You may remember back in May when we told you about that poor kitten found in Hillsborough by a garbage crew on their route. He was covered in spray foam and left to die. Now, little, and this name's fun, little Lucky McFoamy has a new home with the vet who helped nurse him back to health. And we do want to warn you, some of these photos from when the cat was first found, they're tough to look at. Things looked grim when the garbage crew first found him. The eight-week-old kitten was left hanging by a line inside a trash bin, barely able to breathe through the foam someone sprayed all over him. The garbage crew rushed the kitten to the Hillsboro Veterinary Clinic, trying to just give the little guy a chance. Thank God for the guys who brought him in because it was a matter of timing. Today, Lucky is healthy and has a new home. I had said right from the get-go, if nobody wants him, I wanted him, and I got Lucky too, and Lucky got me. Denise Breedall, who works at the clinic Lucky was brought to, was there to thank the crew who first rescued him. She says Lucky is loving his new home. He's eating, getting along good with the other kitties, growing, and he's just a little love joy. A great ending for little Lucky, who beat the odds. Now, the three men who saved Mr. McFoamy, they've been honored for their efforts with a certificate from PETA. As for who did this to the poor guy, there's still a $5,000 reward from PETA. They're offering to help find whoever the animal abuser is. Live in studio, Zach Anders, Fox 12 Oregon. Zach.